In the early morning hours of September 11, 2001, Mark Ailing was just waking up when he received a frantic call from family. They told me to turn on the TV, and I, right as I turned on the television, I saw the second plane uh, hit the, the second tower. And it's very intense. Within an hour and a half, both towers would be reduced to rubble. Now, 20 years later to the day, Ailing has repurposed a significant part of that rubble. The final piece of the trade towers removed from ground zero. There are signs of a lot of heat exposure on the piece of steel. There are spots that look like the, the inch and a quarter thick steel plate is like clay like soft, wet clay. It's been pushed around by incredible forces. The artist was contacted by Tampa Green Beret Scott Neal, who owns a distillery across from Ailing Studio. While relocating Neal's horse soldier statue in Lower Manhattan, the Port Authority discovered the steel beam behind a construction fence near the Freedom Tower. Neal had one request. And they wanted this monument to be about the day after, about the first responders and about how the community was brought together Together by that experience. And in St. Pete's Warehouse District, the monument will feature a 30 foot copper phoenix wing and a half moon wall featuring hundreds of hand painted tiles. But the beam will be the centerpiece, hoping to emulate America post 9 11 as a phoenix rising from the ashes. A feeling 20 years later that still carries its weight. You know, obviously it still holds emotion, and it's a real honor to be able to do something like this. In St. Petersburg, Jennifer Holton, Fox 13 News. Well, the unveiling of the memorial will be this Saturday, September 11th, of course, at 6 p.m. in St. Petersburg's Warehouse District, near the corner of 5th Avenue South and 22nd Street South.